Hello crafters and welcome to this week's From Picture to Page Beyond Paper Craft Show's update. I'm Michelle Brown, Creative Director from Picture to Page Beyond, which is our scrapbooking, mixed media and paper crafting community. And I'm just jumping into your feed today. A little bit late on a Tuesday, but that is okay. I'm still here with this week's update. Firstly, if you're watching us live or whether you're watching a replay, pop in the comments and say hi, just like Denise and Wendy have done. And it's so lovely to have you all with us today. Now today we are going to jump into a touch of inspiration for Easter crafts. We're going to wrap up the Bendigo show. We've got some news about the Pakenham show and of course a paper craft posse update as well. So firstly our inspiration, I want to reach out to you our crafters out there and looking for Easter inspiration, Easter crafts. I'm never quite sure what to do about Easter. Do we make cards? There's all that egg decorating, there's baskets. I would love to know what you do for Easter crafts. Do you make cards? Do you decorate eggs? Do you decorate around the home? What are some of the things that you do to help celebrate this time of year? So pop in the comments, let us know what you do. And of course, if you've made some cards or some craft, share them in our Facebook group, Paper Craft Posse, because we would love to see what everyone is up to. Now I think there's some tradition around Easter colours being sort of yellow and purple but you tend to think of sort of muted colours as well. Hi Rosalie, so I would love to hear what you guys are doing as far as Easter crafts go. So pop them in the comments and share them in the posse and we really look forward to seeing what you're doing. Now we're now a couple of weeks after the Bendigo show and I just wanted to give a very final shout out and wrap to all of the retailers and the crafters, both the local to Bendigo and those that made the trek from Melbourne as well. It was just so lovely to have people together again, to hear the chattering, to hear the heat guns going off, to see all the classes that were on offer, to see the new products in real life and of course all those great new ink colours and paint colours and all sorts of different mediums. Hi Corinne and it was just really lovely to have everyone there at Bendigo so thank you so much for coming and joining us in March at Bendigo. We are certainly planning on being back at the Bendigo showgrounds next March on that third weekend. So pencil it in your calendars and of course dates will be out soon. Now our Pakenham show, can you believe it, is only seven weeks away. So that's the 22nd and 23rd of May at the Cadinia Cultural Centre. Now all of their renovations are finished. They have a beautiful new venue there fantastic car park and really looking forward to bringing you a great collection of retailers. Our requests for retailers have gone out and we're busy behind the scenes seeing who wants to come, what are they offering, what can we bring to them and really what can we bring to you as crafters as well. So we know the Packenham Show is always a fantastic venue and a fantastic collection of retailers so we're so looking forward to that so make sure you've got the 22nd and 23rd marked in your calendars. Now Paper Craft Posse, we are planning another Craftanoon about a month before the Pakenham show. So pop in our Facebook group Paper Craft Posse where we will have all the details. And again, that's a great place to ask questions, to get in touch with retailers, to share what you've made. We've had some cards this week. We've had Tracy make an incredible 3D Easter card and oh, all sorts of other things have been going on. I think Neve shared some of her art journaling as well. So the Paper Craft Posse is definitely the place to come. Share what you've been working on and ask any questions. And like we said, we'll be having our craft noon in a few weeks time here at the Mount Waverley Studios and keep an eye on the group because I think numbers will be limited to ensure our COVID safe plan is maintained. But we do have a QR code in place so that helps us get a good number of people together. So keep an eye out for that. And of course, I forgot to mention Plan C. Now, for those of you that missed any of our seven episodes in season one, you can see them all either here on Facebook or over in YouTube. And we had such a fantastic time. You can go back and catch up with the chats that Wendy and I did, catch up with Mandy, catch up with Michelle at Snazzy Scrapping, and she was on just last Friday. Of course, Michelle, we had Mary with Craft Zone, and we had Alison with Kazaz with a really lovely mixed media layout as well. So all of those over at YouTube. And we will be kicking off season two on Friday the 16th of April. So again, keep an eye out for your Facebook events and we will let you know what's going on soon. And I think that is everything for this update. So we would love to hear from you with your dash of inspiration. What do you do for Easter crafts? Do you do cards? Do you go all out and do eggs? What are traditional things? What are some of the new things you've found? Share it here in the group or in the paper craft posse and I can't wait to get some Easter crafting inspiration. Our huge final wrap up from Bendigo. Thank you all for coming to support us and like we said Pakenham show only seven weeks away. So pop that in your diary, keep an eye out on Facebook and of course on our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au and while you're over there make sure you're on our email list because you 
you will be then on the very first to know all the updates when we release the retailers. Of course, we have our discount coupons and our special to-do list go out just to our Facebook group as well. Not to our Facebook, to our email group, not just our Facebook group. Oh my goodness, I'm tripping over myself. So yes, make sure then you head to the website and you're on our email list as well. Oh, hi Donna. Yep, so we got some comments there about different card making and things to see. So yes, it will be great to see everyone as well. So thank you all for popping into this update. This is Michelle signing off. We hope you have a crafty day.